Private GPT is an open source tool that allows you to query documents locally without the need for an internet connection. So that means you can ask questions to your documents and get the desired answer. And the best thing is, it will work without the internet connection. So it's completely private. To install Private GPT, you will need to download the code from GitHub then install it on your computer. Click on code, and then, if you know how to use Git, then copy this Git URL and clone it in your editor, or just directly download the zip file and extract it wherever you want. Once the folder is ready, open the VS Code editor. If you don't have this editor then you can search it on Google and download it for free. So now open the folder inside the VS Code editor, like this. Once the folder is opened, the first thing you need to do is, install all the required Python libraries which are in this requirements text file. Make sure you have Python version 3.10 and above installed in your computer. So now, just type the following. pip install our requirements.txt and wait for the libraries to get installed. Honestly, it might be a hassle to get private GPT working properly. As you can see here, it says, you must have Visual Studio in your computer, it requires C++ compiler. Else, while installing the required libraries it will throw an error. Next, you need to download this model given here. Once downloaded, just create a new folder and name it as models. Then place the downloaded model into the models folder that you just created. You can see a folder name source documents. Here you need to put any document that you want the model to use. Currently it has this text file. Next, just rename this to .n. We are almost done. Run the ingest python file. Type python ingest.py. This code reads the document and breaks the data into chunks and stores it. Note, every time you include a new document in the source documents folder, you need to run the ingest python file. Now finally, run the private gpt python file. Type python private gpt.py. As you can see, it asks to enter a query. I'll type my question here. And press enter. Let's wait for the response. This is one drawback, that it takes long to give you the response. We can understand that it is going through the whole pdf and generating a response. And there you go. It gives me the answer to my question and also tells me the source, it's useful when there are multiple documents. But this was just the default document. Will this work if I use other documents? Let's see. Here I have used a PDF related to digital marketing. So now, let's run the ingest.py file. Okay. Now run the private gpt.py file. Now, let's write a query and see what response does the bot give. That's the query. And there is the response. Not bad. It has given some answer from the PDF that we uploaded. You can upload multiple documents and then get different answers from all the documents without you reading all of them. I'm sure private GPT will be optimized in the near future and it will save a lot of time. If you like this video, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.